In this design tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a FlexiFit company design. So, hi guys and welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this very simple FlexiFit design for a company logo. So, it's very simple actually and hang in there. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a business card out of this design. Okay, so let's get started right away. I'm going to press F to get out of the full screen mode here from Photoshop and continue going to File new and we'll just open a complete new canvas okay down here under name I'm quickly gonna write down just the name from the company so basically flexi fit or you guys can also write whatever you want to let's just put that a little bit higher so again flexi fit is just the name of the canvas then as well I'm gonna work again with 1920 pixels by 1080 this is due to my screen recorder so if you guys have something different just put it in here and you will yeah, just put it in there. Once you're done, hit OK and you will be brought to this screen. Great, so I'm going to move this guy over to the side. I don't need that. I'm going to put back onto this canvas and press F, nice and full screen. We're not distracted by the background anymore. Okay, great. So for the first step again, double click on here, just rename and open the background layer. And I'm going to put it just to white. Okay, so we've got our first layer set and as well I'm going to make a duplicate of that quickly because we obviously wanted to have the whole logo on black. So I'm going to press Command J just to duplicate this layer and as well I'm working on a Mac so I said Command. If you work on a PC, please press Control all the time when I say Command. Okay, so this I'm going to rename again to black, so the new layer that we just copied. Okay, but it's still white and we still need to invert it. So I'm going to press Command I again just to invert that whole process. As well, I'm going to move it all the way down and now we've got white and black. Okay, great. So the white layer is supposed to be just like a little bit of a fill layer. So what we're going to take is to put the opacity here just to around 10%. So as you guys can see, it dims down all the way. So just making that a light gray actually here or dark gray. Okay, so that's set already. For the next step that I want to do now is basically start right away just with the company name, slogan, etc. Okay, so I'm going to press T on the keyboard or you guys can also head over here and just select the text tool. I'm going to make a big selection and first of all just write the company name, which is today again FlexiFit. Also I'm going to write this in capital letters all. Okay, so we wrote FlexiFit over here. Let's first of all just choose a complete different font. So I'm going to select all, and I've already chosen a font that I want to work with today. It's under A, American Captain over here, and a little bit thicker. Okay, so American Captain it is. You guys can also find that in the description down below or under font.com again. Okay, I'm going to select all of it, and first of all go over to the character box. And if you guys don't have this character box over here, please head over to Window and select the character box over here. Great. In the character box, first of all, I'm going to put off the just the italic mode here so it's not leaning anymore. And as you guys can see, it's pretty far apart there, the, the font. So I want to move the tracking a little bit. So I'm going to go over here and just change the tracking to zero. Great. So I'm going to accept it. Or maybe before I accept it, I'm just going to make the font a little bit bigger like maybe yeah, 55% there, pixels, okay, accept that. Now I'm going to just take the font with the move tool here and just place that somewhere over here. What I also want to do now is again take the text tool, make again a big selection over here and write again the slogan. So I chose to go with the power you need or something today, yeah, the power you need. Okay, so that's the company slogan for today. Very creative. Okay, I'm going to make it a bit smaller first of all and as well choose a different font again and I'm going to go with Helvetica Neue again which is over here. You guys can also find that in the description down below again and as well on the font.com. Okay, so chose that but I'm still going to make it a little bit thinner. So again select the complete text here. I'm going to go to the fonts over here and switch this to ultra light. Yes, I like that. That's a little bit thinner. Okay, going to move or select everything, make it a bit smaller and let's go over to the character box again and we're going to space the tracking a bit apart here, like 140 or so. That's just for the test now. I'm going to accept it, take the move tool and we're going to move it somewhere down here. So we need to still play a little bit with this in a second, but that's so far the first two steps. 
Great, so let's start working just on the main little icon, logo, whatever you guys want to call it. For that again, I'm going to work today just with a normal simple shape again. So I'm going to go over here, select the shapes, right click and go to custom shapes. Now as well, I'm going to go into the shape library and I've got actually a ton of different shapes. A few of those I've created myself and most of them I've downloaded. So again, today I'm going to work with this shape over here, the hexagon frame. You guys can also find that again in the description down below under shapesforfree.com and there's a tons of sites providing you with shapes. If you guys are not familiar with shapes, please have a look at our shape tutorial which is also on this channel. I'm going to select this guy and yeah, just go back to the application bar at the top. First of all, under fill, I'm going to work with like a deep yellow today for the brand and the logo. So let's select this yellow. We might even change that a little bit still. I'm going to hit OK, accept it. And now I'm going to hold shift actually and just make this like a nice selection over here. So it's equally expanding and just trying to create somewhere around this size. This is going to be our brand. So it's a little bit too light for me, the color, the yellow. First of all, I'm going to double click just here onto the shape layer, which will bring me into the color picker. And in here, I can actually choose a bit of a different color. So as you guys can see, I'm just going randomly here through the colors and trying to look what looks pretty cool. Yeah, and you guys can also get this number down here. If you put that in, you will get exactly the same color as I have. Okay. And next step I'm going to do now is press Command, Shift and H all together so we can hide these outlines here a little bit. Okay, so do that. Great, so I've hidden them. And now for the next step still, I still want to rotate this. So we can either press Command T and rotate this. Now again, Windows users, Control T. Or we can also go up here to File, go to Edit actually, Transform. And we can say here Rotate Counterclockwise for 90 degrees. Select that. Great, and it already rotated. Yeah, and that's actually what I want because I want this nice straight part here going together just with a flexi fit um, name actually. Again, I'm going to move this over here a little bit, just a bit closer, and it might be a bit too big actually. Let's have a look. I'm going to press Command T again now this time, hold Shift, and also take this little anchor point here. And just make this a little bit smaller. Okay, accept it from the top. I'm going to move it in. Yep, and that's around where I want to have this. Okay, so again, we have a few layers and a few things. We're going to sort it in a moment. First of all, what I still want to do is actually just copy the FlexFit font over here. So again, I'm going to select the FlexFit layer. I'm going to press Command J and duplicate that whole step. Let's just move that all the way to the top so we know it's something different. And I'm also going to take the Move tool and just move this out a bit. Select the Text tool again. Select the whole text over here and delete everything. Great, so we're only left with the P. I'm going to accept it. Take the Move tool, which you can also just do on Spacebar or V tool. V is actually the right tool just for moving stuff around. And I'm just going to move the P here into the center roughly. I'm not going to work with guidelines today. So you guys are welcome to work with some guidelines to make it more accurate. Okay, so I'm going to put the P in here. And I want to play a little bit with the P as well. Again, I'm going to take the layer here, hit right click and rasterize this. So now it's a free layer. I can just work with it and do whatever I want with it. First of all, under the selections here, under the marking tool, I'm going to select the rectangular marking tool and as well just zoom in a little bit closer so I can manipulate this P a little bit. Again, take the marking tool. I just press Z on the keyboard to zoom in and out really quickly. So you guys can also do that via pressing Z. Then again, M on the keyboard, marking tool, and I'm just going to make a rough selection like so. And over here, and I'm going to hit delete. Don't forget here, you have to be on the P layer. I delete that, Command D, get out of the selection, press Z again, and zoom out. And we've already created a little bit of a unique sign here. So I don't want to get too complicated with this. This might be a little bit different with your design. You will most probably spend a bit more time on this. But yeah, for today's tutorial, I'm going to just stick to this. Okay, so we've done this already. I'm happy with that. Next step that I still want to do is now just obviously fit the flex fit and the slogan here to this design. So again, I'm going to take the flex fit layer over here, the move tool, and I'm going to move it a bit closer. Now again, take the text tool. Select everything and we're going to make it a bit bigger. So again, I'm going to try to make the P as big as the little design over there. 
so almost the same size here in height again I'm not going to work with any guidelines just roughly doing this via my eyes and using my cursors now to move this in and out a bit okay great so I really like that already again next step just the power you need the slogan we're going to take that as well and I want to place this right underneath here and I think the size here is already perfect it's really good actually otherwise I would have, have made this a bit smaller for instance I would select it just make it a bit smaller and take the tracking up even further so the slogan is kind of hidden and not that prominent in the design okay let's maybe go a little step back here just a bit more I'm gonna make it a tad bigger yeah I think 13 pixels somewhere around there okay accept it and first of all I'm gonna move the tracking up a bit so to like 141 maybe let's have a look 45 yeah that's good so 245 accept it and again with the move tool just move the slogan right underneath the text so I want the slogan to end here in the P or start there and end here at the T and not here with the top of the T so again let me just show that with the guideline quickly here as you guys can see there we go so I want it to end there and not over here okay so that's basically all again I'm gonna zoom out and have we already created just the first little brand and design here again let's take the layers so flex fit the power you need and the shape and P um, basically not P and the shape so just just select that again I'm gonna hold shift on the keyboard and just select the layers press command G and put it together in a group again Windows users please use control double tap and I'm gonna rename that to logo number one again we can take white and black here again command G put that again in the group we can rename that to background so we've always got stuff sorted and it's nicely in our Photoshop file again take shape number one and P hold shift and again command G put that again in another group logo number two okay let me just type that right there we go okay so for the next step I still want to add something to the background here it looks a little bit boring especially if you want to print this out now or credit for whatever for some flies or whatever you need this for it might look a bit visually interesting if you have something in the background so I'm going to duplicate again layer logo number two with command J just make this nice and big actually so logo number two over here we can rename this now to logo three okay and I'm also going to move this layer all the way down so it's behind our actual logo and logo number two again we're going to open this first of all I have to talk you guys through something shape number one is still a rasterized layer so this means if we're going to expand it now the quality will still stay the same if I'm going to rasterize this layer it's not going to expand it's going to expand as well equally but it's going to lose in quality so leave it to this rasterized layer here or smart object in a way I'm going to double tap on it first of all and just move over to a white color so white color scheme over here okay and the P I'm going to leave in there I'm most probably going to create a new one in a second okay I'm going to take layer or group number three press command T and now we can actually make it bigger and move it around so that's why we're also going to keep it here actually as a smart object so take again shift and this little anchor point here in the center or on the sides and we're just gonna make it double the size so you guys have to play a little bit with this it always looks a bit different on each design make it a bit bigger and I'm gonna rotate this maybe a little bit just to test yeah and if I would place it somewhere over here then also make it a bit bigger still we can also still move the whole design up the logo so again I've already hit double twice enter here so it's already accepted again take the move tool and yeah I'm gonna place it somewhere like over here okay so we've also got a few corners in here that looks all right again what I'm gonna do now is just open logo number two here yeah nope we're gonna open logo number one and take flex fit again we can make a duplicate of that with command J just move that into layer logo number three okay so the group again we can select P in a moment I still want to have it as a little bit of a reference take flex fit copy here we can let's maybe turn off logo number two and the logo so we're not distracted by that again take the flex fit word here I'm gonna delete everything let's accept it quickly from the top 
switch this guy on again and what I'm trying to now is put this almost to the same size because you guys can see that I've um, made everything big enough so the quality is really bad with this B as you guys can see on the edges so when you print this this will look like really terrible and as you guys can see here with the smart object from the shape that still looks all intact and good so that's why we made also another duplicate of this again select the text tool select the P over here and I'm just gonna make it super big somewhere around this size I'm actually just having a look comparing stuff again I'm not measuring anything today accept it and literally yeah it's almost the size now before I continue again the same step on the layer here right click rasterize that layer so again we can delete stuff I'm gonna take the marking tool and quickly just again make a selection here gonna delete that again command D get out of the selection and maybe a little bit more so hit delete, command D, get out of the selection and that looks pretty much the same as we have before. Now we just need to rotate this. Again I'm going to delete also the old layer, maybe let's just switch it off. Select the new P, press command T and rotate this just a little bit. I'm going to place it somewhere in here. Okay, accept it and let's have a look from our previous P here. So they're almost the same. This one, the new one is just a bit bigger. So again, as you guys can see, yeah, it goes almost in the same direction. Again, select the old P over here and just delete it. Okay, so we've got the new and it's also in nice high quality as you guys can see. Great, so the edges are not smudged and they look bad. Great, so that's almost it. Last step that we're still going to do now is just take logo number three over here and we're going to take the whole opacity all the way down. So maybe just like to a 10% or something so it's slowly standing through on the design. As well, logo number two or in logo number one and two actually, and just select both of them by holding shift again on the keyboard. Select your move tool again, and we're just going to move it a little bit higher here, somewhere over here. Maybe you can also move it in a little bit, play a little bit with that. But yeah, I'm actually going to put it right over here, and it looks a little bit different than the thumbnail actually, but you guys kind of get the point. Great, so that's basically all already for this tutorial as well, like a quick simple tutorial as well. Don't forget to have a look at the next video where I'm going to teach you guys how to do a business card out of this design. As well, that's it. If you guys uh, like this tutorial, don't forget to hit me up with a thumbs up. Share it with all your buddies that are new to this or don't know about design stuff. And yes, thanks again guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.